Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today is Friday freebie day. So we are on number 117 today. So we have some lovely butterflies. Um, and this is like a double envelope, which you can fold up into like a little wallet. Um, so it's a really, really lovely one. Um, and of course you can have, if you cut down the middle, you can have two separate envelopes as well. So it's entirely up to you, but I've made it as like a little um, double envelope wallet. So it's really nice. So the papers that I have done it in are the papers or the same style as the new calendar journal papers. Well, I call them calendar journal papers, but they are really journal papers as well. Um, and they are lovely. I'll give you a quick peek of those because I didn't do that last week. We were just catching up today. So loving this. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like first, what, how I have used it. Let's pop that to the side. Now I put it into our lovely journal that we are doing all the Friday freebies in. And this is what I've made. I have made two. So I'm going to take this off. I've just made some little um, paper clips, just little hidden paper clips there as well. And I've just made a belly band down here just to hold these on. So they come out like this. So they fold up and then you've got two envelopes and they just fold up into a lovely little wallet. Now this one is, I've just folded it the other way. So you can have the um, envelopes on the other side like that which is really nice um, I've just printed some um, on the back of these with the papers um, and all I've done I popped a belly band on here and I've popped them over so they go through I've got one a little um, hidden paper clip which I'm just going to pop on there if I can open it up clip it on and then it will just slide on and attach to the belly band like that so it's not going to move and that's what I've done with this one as well. But another way you could do it, you could just pop it in like that. If you just wanted one, you could pop it in and clip it onto a belly band and then just pop a little um, paper clip or something on it that way, which is really nice. Or if you didn't want a belly band, you could pop them onto a page like that. So lots of different ways, or you can have it from the top like that and then you could have a um, something to hold it on there paper clip to hold it on there you can have it from the side going this way there's all sorts of ways you can use it or you can just pop it into a pocket so you could pop that on there so that clips on there nice and tight or just stick it in a pocket or just have a little floating one around in pockets but you can fold it in two different ways so it looks like you've got two different um, envelopes but it looks like a little wallet doesn't it as well so I'm going to just show you how to make it I just want to show you as well this was last week's and I didn't put it in the book so I put it in the book this week and what I've done I've just got a little tiny velcro fastening on there um, and then like a little hinge and then I've just made a little bit here I've done a few little pencil lines so you can journal on that as well and that just holds it down and then just a little bit of gesso. So I think that looks really nice on there as well. So I'm just going to show you how simple it is. No, actually, I'm going to show you the papers. Now, just a quick flip through. Now, we are. these are the papers for the calendar journal that I'm about to make for October. So this is October, November, December's. Um, and I've just made the cover so far, which I think looks really, really nice. It's sort of like a real shabby um, look to it look grungy and it got, it's the butterfly one it's called the calendar journal butterfly accessories pack now the only thing that makes it calendar journaly is the back page which has got the days of the days of the week and also the months of the year so that's the only really thing that makes it calendar journaly all the rest you can just use um, as a normal journal so I'm just going to give you a quick flip through and I'm just loving them. They, because it's sort of like autumny, wintry time, I've sort of like done it in blues and browns, which I think looks beautiful. And these beautiful butterflies. We've got some lovely papers, which have got sort of like autumn leaves on. 
Um, this one's got a bit down the middle, so it's sort of like a double page. So I've got that in the brown and the blue. Um, this one looks lovely, doesn't it? Just love the colours in these. I do think browns and blues go really well together. Um, that's a nice one for backing onto the to a sheet as well. We have some beautiful journal cards. So these are the whole journal cards. Um, and then we've got some little pockets that they fit in. And these are like the little sort of like fold in half ones. They're like little booklet ones, which you can add. Um, you can make them into little booklets as well. But we've got some beautiful like little butterflies on there as well. A nice big envelope. We have some butterfly embellishments is there and some more pockets. I just love pockets. You can't have too many pockets. And then some nice little envelopes. And then we have some embellishments and some belly bands. These ones, the butterflies, go this way. So you could put that down this side of your page. And these ones, the butterflies, go this way. So obviously they can be like a belly band, um, which are lovely. And then the last page, like I said, we've got the days of the week, um, months of the year, and then we've got them in the smaller like that. They all got lovely little butterflies all over them. Um, some more beautiful pockets to go with the journaling card. So loving this one. I think that's really nice and I can't wait to um, start to doing my journal. So I have cut this out. Um, really simple to cut out. We have a little sort of like notch in here and sort of like a gap in the top. It's only so when you fold it over it doesn't buckle up. Um, and I've printed this. I've printed on the back with one of the papers, um, the backing papers. And um, what was I going to say? You just, I've just scored it. Okay, so it's really, really simple to do. Really simple to cut out. Fold it in half. Fold these two up like that. And then fold these two down. So it can't get much easier than this, can it? So you just, easy to cut out as well. And then that just folds in half. Now I've printed this onto 120 GSM paper. Not quite sure what that is in pounds. Um, but because normally I use 160, but it doesn't need to be as thick. Um, where's these ones? Let me just show you this one because I have sewn on this one. I've sewn around these, both of these, um, just around the top and around here. Um, but you can do that if you want to. I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm just going to show you how simple it is to put together. Well, we've nearly finished doing it already. So all we do, we just put a little bit of glue up the sides like this. Now again, you can add more little embellishments, little bits of lace or whatever you'd like to add to it as well. So there's a pocket. And then we just pop it down here and we have a little pocket here. So I'm hoping these will go with your, um, if you're doing autumny journals or wintry journals like that. Um, these would probably go in them because they have got this sort of those sort of colours, and that's it. That's as far as it is. That's all you have to do. Fold it over, and then I did make some of the these little um, they're just um, hidden paper clips really, um, but I do have a tutorial on how to make these somewhere. So open that up like that and that just holds it as a little closure that's just to give you an idea of a closure you can use but I just think they're lovely and then you can just ink it up you can pop your words you could even pop some words on there some more little butterflies you can just obviously embellish them however you like um, but again you don't need to sew on it you don't have to do anything you just cut it out and stick it together now I have three, again, fold it whichever way you like. You could open that up. You could even pop some journaling pages in there and make it like a little journal um, with little pockets on the outside. 
but I just did sort of like the belly band because I thought that would look quite nice in here. Take our little hidden paper clips, open that up, pop that on and that just slots on and hangs on to that belly band like that. So I just think it looks really, really nice. So very quick, very simple. And again, you can pop them on your pages however you like. And if you want to do it again, cut it down the middle. Shall I cut this one down the middle? Shall we just see? I haven't tried to make them in two, but I'm sure you can. Pop this this way. You would need to cut off, because there's like a little gap, you want to cut that gap off. So shall I give it a go? Let's see. And then you can have two little envelopes. Pop that through there. Cut that down like that. Oops. And then cut that down. I didn't do that very well, did I? There we go. Pop that to the side and there we go, we've got two little envelopes, you've got lovely butterfly coming across there, you can pop words or whatever you like on there, um, and then we've got two, look at that, I think they look lovely don't they, really good, you can pop a little um, notch in there if you wanted to, but look at that, so you've got two, you can have it as a double, however you like so there we go guys that is your friday freebie for this week and i'm just loving it let's turn that one over pop it on there pop these on two here like that and that one on there and then we pop our little blue one so loving the blue and the brown i really do think blue and brown go well together um and it is sort of like it's a I believe it is now autumn we have just come into autumn can you believe that um, so summer is over so there we go well not for all of us but for a majority we are autumn into autumn so there we go guys that is your Friday freebie for this week again you can have two if you wanted to so there we go well thank you so so much for joining me you have a fantastic weekend i hope you can get some crafting in um at least make the friday freebie um and don't forget if you're not on the facebook group um you can pop over and get the the um friday previous friday friday freebies in there this one won't be in there for a couple of weeks um but you can get this one this one is was in there last week as well um, the section of those but do pop over all the links and everything are under the video so please do take a look um, so there we go guys thank you so much for joining me take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye